everybody, it's Emily at Arc Schooling, and today I'm going to be doing the July Family Reading Crate unboxing. July's theme was We Are Family, so it's all about families and family relationships. The first thing I want to mention, if you didn't notice, is that the box this month looks different. We found a different company, and I really got excited because their boxes are 100% recycled materials. So not only are they totally recycled, they're also smaller, so we don't need to use as much grass stuff inside. So all around, it's better for the environment. So I open the box and the first thing you'll see is the booklet. Each box comes with a booklet that just gives you discussion, questions, activity ideas, all kinds of things to just get more from the theme each month. And it also includes a link that takes you to our website where you can check out extra reading ideas, there's some printables, things like that. So things to enhance your readings of the books for the month. You also get three bookmarks. One is our Build Your Library exclusive. One of my favorite quotes. And the other one is double-sided and on one side it's a picture of a family and the sunset. It's just really pretty. On the other side, my youngest is nine and she likes to draw. If you've ever been to um, a conference where we've been, you'll have seen she's done a bookmark for us before. She designed one about pigs in literature. <laughs> so her favorite fictional pigs. And so she wanted to do the bookmark for this month. So I said, of course. And so here is her bookmark design. Isn't that cute? So if you're wondering what that picture is, that is our family with our favorite animals and that goes along with, we're getting to it, the little extra this month are these cute little cartoony animal guys. There's a variety so they'll be a little bit different in each box but you can kind of see they're just these cute little guys. Okay, so now let's get to the best part, the books. To go along with the bookmark and the little toys, the picture book is My Family's, My Family is a Zoo by K.A. Gerard. This book is adorable. It's about a family who is on their way to meet the mom and get a surprise. And it talks about how everyone in the family has a special animal. It's really cute. I don't know, maybe it's just us <laughs> and our family. We all seem to have, like, as a child, a special animal toy that we've just always loved. And it's just been a thing. So when I saw this book, it made me think of my husband, my kids, me. So, and it's just, it's really cute. Really cute cartoony illustrations. It's adorable. The Family Read Aloud is As Brave As You by Jason Reynolds. This is a really great book. This is about two brothers who are staying with their grandparents for a month over the summer. They're from Brooklyn. They're going to stay with their grandparents who live in the country in Virginia. So it's a very big kind of culture shock. And the older brother, Ernie, is about, I think, 14 and Jeannie is the younger brother, he's about 12. So Jeannie really looks up to his older brother a lot. And this is just oh, such a great story about brother relationship, but it's also great because Jeannie really develops a great relationship with his grandfather. The grandfather is blind and he, Jeannie doesn't know. This is the first time he's really met him. He has a lot of questions. One of the things I really loved about Jeannie was how inquisitive he was. And it's cute, he keeps a notebook with where he writes down all his questions and then later he'll go to Google and see if he can find answers to the ones that are answerable. And in the country, they don't have a computer and so and there's no Wi-Fi. So he has to like, just keep all his questions bottled up. But Jeannie's also a very anxious child and I've had children like that. So I related and it was just really sweet. The story is about just them dealing with being in the country and just the culture shock of that for them but also 
it's a slow burn. It's not a fast paced story. It's sort of a slow, just like the countryside, like being in the country, it's definitely slower than they're used to. Great story about their relationship and their bond and what it means to be brave. The older reader book is a young adult called Just Fly Away by Andrew McCarthy. And yes, it's that Andrew McCarthy. I didn't realize that until I'd finished the book and saw the picture on the back flap and I was like, huh. He's familiar. <laughs> yeah, it's that guy. You know, the 80s heartthrob. Yeah. Anyway, he wrote a book. This is a, it's about a girl who discovers that her father had an affair and has a child that she never knew about. And she is dis just disgusted with her father, who she's always thought of as this saintly, perfect person. That her father's wonderful, and she's got the perfect fa family, and then she finds out maybe she's wrong. And it kind of turns her whole world upside down, and she doesn't know how to deal with that. And so she runs away. It's all about her dealing with this information. And the idea that maybe our parents aren't perfect people. They make mistakes too. And the book I chose for you, the parent, is The Two Family House by Linda Cohen Leugman. I loved this book so much. <laughs> this is a family saga that takes place over the course of many years. I think it starts in 1947 and the end of the book is like 1970, I think. And basically, there's two families that are living in this upstairs downstairs house and the, it's two brothers and their wives. So they're a family. So Helen and Abe live upstairs and Rose and Mort live downstairs. And Helen and Abe have all boys. I think they have four boys at the beginning of the book and Mort and Rose have three girls. Mort and Abe own a box company and Mort is very much a kind of Scrooge kind of guy. He's he's very grumpy and he's just bitter that he's had to leave his dreams behind of being a mathematician to go and help his brother with the company when their father died. And so he's just a very grouchy guy and Rose thinks to herself that, you know, if only she could give him a son. If she could give him a son, everything would be better. And Helen and Rose are both pregnant at the same time and sort of serendipitously they both go into labor on the same night when their husbands are away on business. And things happen. And suddenly everyone should be happy now because Helen has the girl she always wanted and Rose finally has a son. But there's something that happened that night and it drove a wedge between the two sister-in-laws and they, Rose hates her sister-in-law now. And it just kind of destroys their friendship and it kind of pushes their families apart. And you kind of follow like what happened that night. It's not really a secret. You know as soon as it happens what happened. And throughout the story you're waiting for the rest of the characters to figure out what happened. But it's just it's told really well. The writing is beautiful. I loved that it's about Jewish families in America in the 1940s. I thought that was great. I loved reading about all their little traditions and things. And yeah, it's just, it's a really great story, really well told. I love that it's multiple perspectives, so you get to see from everyone's point of view what they think is happening and what's going on. And I just, I really loved the story a lot. So that's what you'll get in the July family reading crates. We still have some left, so if you want to buy one, I'll leave a link down below with more information about all the family reading crates as well as how to purchase this month's crate. And I hope I'll see you guys next month with the Reading Player One crate. It's video games. And thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye.